So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome to Try to Fall Asleep. So this is a game I think we played around about a year ago in its demo form, but now it's reached its early access point and we're back to experience it again. For those of you who have never seen this game before, it kind of reminds me of like a boogeyman style game with a bit of FNAF in there. Then I guess it throws some demons in there just to add to the mix. Do you guys ever have it where sometimes you're trying to fall asleep and then the thought occurs in your head when you hear maybe like the knocking of a pipe that something might actually be there? Yeah, well this game takes that concept and actually puts something there, so there you go. Other than that, I see we go ahead and experience this thing. I want to see what they've added, maybe changed up. So let's go ahead and get this. Try to fall asleep. Let's go ahead and play this. So it's still the night system, I guess, and there's a total of six. And if you guys do want that next night real soon, I think you know exactly what to do. All right, let's do this. Uh, the freak? Okay, I thought my game was crashed, thank goodness. Talking of crash, my gosh! Okay. Dang. Bro, you got that one eye action. You see how the eyes, like, close to- Look, we're not gonna talk about that. That's interesting, though. Here we go. Okay. Take a look around. It's a very similar to what we've seen before, I guess. All right, here oh, we go. Hello there. How's it going, bro? Be John Heron, right? Something well, like that. How you know my name, though? You, Mr. Heron. <laughs> my name is cool. AB. I'm a medical assistant robot. That my core that. function is to give guidance to my patients okay. and provide a supportive presence Switch in line. case of an emergency, such All as right. a mental breakdown, Great. psychotic disruption, and so on. Taking the boxes, I'm probably going to have suffering from them, I guess. Dr. Rick Norberg himself. Okay. So, Mr. Herring, I'd like to congratulate you on successfully recovering from your physical damages. Thank you. Such a Feel huge good. blast. And yeah. You didn't I mean, lose I a limb. How wow. about that? Uh, inc yeah, I, I don't anyway, know how I feel about that. Now I'm gonna be real. Healed from your physical damages, we Something can start like that, yeah. On your brain damage. Fantastic. Your Wait, what? says that you have memory losses as well as a few brain damages that might cause you to um. Mm -hmm. Spit it out. Fantastic. Well, Luckily for you, all okay. those damages can be easily cured. Great, In that's the good news. What's damage, the bad? You'll just have to sleep and rest. Easy, I guess. The best medicine for your brain. Unless you've got insomnia. So What's the catch, though, huh? Seems okay. Easy, right? That's the game name, well, basically. Well, unfortunately, your brain damage might cause you to hallucinate. The and catch. that could be a huge problem. Uh, kind of, yeah, I guess. You won't Paranoia. Stay calm, your stress will increase. Uh-huh. Huge stress will give you a cardiac arrest. <gasps> Great. It doesn't stop at the heart. If that yeah. occurs, we That's what it means, cardiac might arrest. not be able to arrive in time to save you from death. So oh, boy. You need to deal with your stress as best as you can. Okay. All right, let's walk you through the basics real quick. Oh, you can try. At the bottom not enjoying this, though, dude. Your info panel, which Great. Has two pretty self-explanatory levels. Uh-huh. Stress is sleep. Eye, and okay. Keep them shut for a moment. Let's okay. do it. He can be quiet. Now keep them closed for a bit. What, I'm doing that. All right. Then the static comes up. So. Now open them. Got it. All right. See, stress. Your sleep level just okay. If I put that on, that lowers my stress. If you put it up before 4am, you'll fall asleep. Okay. Great. Yeah. All right. I find it fascinating how... Uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't mean to scare you that much. <laughs> Shut the freak up, man. You're meant to be helping me. What the heck? Just like that. Great. This level should be kept as low as possible. Dang. It'll go down Amazing. if you'll keep your eyes open. Okay. Also, turning on that lamp will help you to second. lower the stress level faster. Guess that makes it sense. Kind of broken, so try okay. not to overheat the lamp and break it. Freak, you say you see that in the back? Okay, looks like we're all set. Fantastic. Nice. Fall asleep. And all right. I'll check on you in the morning. I mean, already doing night, so Mr. to Harry. your boring voice. Yeah. Good night, man. I don't know what your name is, but I'm talking to a robot, so uh, yeah. And I guess other than that, we're back in this thing. So close my eyes, try to fall asleep, just as the game says. I mean, easier said than done. Clearly, we've got some of those issues, and clearly, when I close my eyes. Why have I got people running outside my window? Hold up a second. My stress is peaking. How do I drop this? Just like this? Just like calm? Stay with my eyes open or something? I mean, we'd end up seeing the terrors and I'd end up like crapping my pants. Look, I ain't this guy. If this is how he stays calm, that's fine. As the poster says right there, keep it cool. Just like that, the stress is gone. And then we go ahead and close our eyes once again. So I guess you gotta listen for sounds or something? Okay, keep them close. Don't panic. The heck is that? I can open them. But the stress is good. Okay, what is that? What the? Is that like a bird outside or something? Put the light on, put the light on, look at the light. Okay, we're good. We're all good. There you go. Lower the stress and then get that sleep. Don't think about the demons. They're all in your head quite literally. You don't need to be worried about those. They can never hurt you, okay? So don't have a cardiac arrest, basically. Let's go. Okay, now look, that would stress me out more than seeing someone run by my window. Actually, on second thought, probably not. But, dang. I guess this is all about the past we experienced before with the explosion and such. Okay, open my eyes again. I hear something. Sounds like a rope being turned, but it could easily be the trees outside. No reason to freak out. Get those eyes shut and listen. There's nothing there. Nothing at all. No reason to open the eyes. 
Stay completely calm. Okay, things are getting loud. Oh, lie on, lie on. Do I need it? I don't even think I- I think we're good for the most part, you know? No dangers, two-thirds of the sleep done, stress level basically at zero. So look, close my eyes again. Let's get this done. Yes, of course, now the demons want to start showing their face. Might make sense, but always do without. Ignore the rope. Whatever that is, stress is still super low. We're absolutely fine. There ain't no problems at all in any of this. Keep the sleep up. So they've definitely changed a lot when it came to the first night. I remember last time I had no idea what was going on. Uh, like some silence and- Oh my god. Bro. Why is Spider-Man trying to break in my house right now? First of all, he got those suction pads on his fingers or something. No idea how he was climbing that. There we go. Stress yes. is gone. Like, it was just a burglar. We caught him so uh, he's not going to try again, right? Uh, sure. Okay, look, close the eyes. It was just in our head. Surely. I sure hope it was. Okay, that was nothing. All right, back to sleep, back to sleep. There's just small dangers here and there. They're not going ahead, though, and trying to snap our neck up, though, because they got to be in our head. Okay, lower that stress. Why are you stressing? Calm down. There you go. Can't just stress over nothing. Like, when you see the deep... Okay, now you can start stressing. What the freak was that? All right, light on. Look at the light. There you go. Lower that stress straight away. Perfect. Okay. Guess we can sleep again. Just listen to the sound in the back. Like the gentle hum of the wind, the trees rustling, everything peaceful. You know? Bit of rain would do nicely, help me nod off. But I'm sure we can do it anyway. All right, and this should just about do it, dude. Keep the eyes closed. And we slept the first night away, just like that. Wow. Well, that was much easier than first. I guess that's like to introduce us to all the concepts. So let's go ahead and see what this dream's about. Maybe it's going to be worse than what we're seeing in the daytime. Who knows? Okay, footsteps. Hey, are you in the lab now? Yeah. Kate, good. Go check out that power generator. It must be the cause of the power shortage. All right, you go and check those wind turbines. Maybe a cable got loose or something. On my way to the generator. Kate, good luck. Can we go out here? We can't. Wait, is the door even open? Is there anything here? Wait, why am I why am I so fascinated by this, you know? Yeah, so this is very, very similar to what we played the first time around with the game. Uh, but the first night was totally different. So exit the main lab building and locate the power generator. Look, in my own time, okay, don't rush me. Uh, you know what, maybe we should follow the weird robot voice inside of our head. Perhaps he knows best in this situation. Check every door as well. So what does that say? Yeah. Daisy Norberg, each of these different rooms. Is she drinking wine on the job now? Come on! There's a letter here. Looks like Daisy was writing a draft for a letter. It reads, We're so nosy. I don't know if I can do it, Dad. I appreciate that you gave me this opportunity to prove myself, but it's a huge responsibility. I only went because you convinced me. I'll only be a helping hand. I don't want to be involved in anything major. If you truly believe that it's for the good, then I'll support it. Otherwise, it's all on you. The freak you talking about, Kate? Maybe the wine's doing the talking right there. I have no idea. Look, maybe we should just get out. I see the exit sign. Here we go. We're outside. Big red light over there. Always run to that thing when there's something wrong. It's probably going to be telling us that this is where the problem lies. Yeah. Here we go. What do we got here? This is... Bro, back! Oh! Okay, well, I was trying to read that. Let me check one more time. The fuses are gone. Find the fuses and put them back in the generator. So this is exactly what we've done before. Okay, now that looks like a fuse on the floor right there, illuminated up. But there was some kind of growling. Maybe a monster lurking beyond us. I think it may have attacked me, but I really have no idea. Okay, we'll go ahead and flee. What? Whoa! Holy crap. Ah! Flee what? Flee what? What the heck? Oh, whoa! Oh my god! Okay, this has changed a whole lot. Keep running, keep running. Go, go. Go this way here. Do I gotta escape somewhere? Because this is just throwing me in the deep end. No idea what's going on. Uh, one of the doors, perhaps? I guess we'll try it. Nope. Open. Nope. Uh, yeah, that thing is still chasing me. I have no idea what the freak is going on. This way here? D it did I do it or something? So I remember last time, that was a lot less intense than that. <laughs> I had no idea what was going on. That throws you straight in the deep end. So, okay, can I put the thing back in? Aye. I gotta collect some more first, all right? Holy crap. So, like, when we go in that zone, what is that? It doesn't really make sense. It hasn't been explained. Clearly, we gotta outrun the things, but... Jeez. Now, let's look around the back of this place, then. So, four warehouses. This door's open here, so we may as well check inside. There's a fuse. Perfect. Okay, but I know when I pick this up, I gotta be ready straight away. Oh, boy. Snatch it. Okay, here we go. You gotta find the thing first. Like, don't run into it. There it is. There it is. Okay, so run the other way. Oh, my God. What this tries to represent, I have no idea. Maybe a flashback. Maybe, like, an outbreak or something. But it seems like the objective is to just keep moving, run in a straight line, keep the monster behind you, and then you're all good, basically. There you go. Run in that straight line. We should be okay. And wait for it. There we go. Good again. Now... What about the thing that ran at us in this world? Was it real? Was it a flashback? Because it attacked us, I guess, and then disappeared. Well, I don't even know, guys. I really don't. All I care about is where people scattered these fuses around here and why they went ahead and did so. I want to find them, and I want to get out of this, okay, pronto. Let's take a look over here. 
So it looks like we must arrive at this place on the docks. And like, why are you going to take a car through here? I have no idea. Like, where are you going to? The water? Now, back to the current problem and current objective. Where are these fuses at? This is most important. You know, maybe there's actually no more outside. Perhaps they're all going to be within this place here. Got, like, two stories. So there's a lot for us to investigate. And you know what? Let's go ahead and do it. Screw it. Open the door. Hello, how's it going? Inside we go in every single corner for these fuses, okay? Aha, right there, there's one. Okay, so we're gonna take it, but we already know straight after, be ready. All right, snatch that, so find the monster, find the monster. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna run this way, guys. I have not, oh boy, oh boy, I've run into death, yeah. I run straight into, dang, what is that? That's like a straight demon, holy crap. You gotta be so mindful. Well, there's one of my three outs already done. If that stress level gets too high, you must just pass out or something, I can assume. Okay, what's that fuzzing, you hear that? In here? It's the lab NR2, it doesn't open. What was the source, though, of the white noise just then? Anything in here? Is that something? What is this, a diary? It's Edward's diary. The latest entry in the diary reads, It doesn't feel right. Although I'm happy for this opportunity to work here on this project, dangerous substance research is kind of not my thing. Alright, so maybe that's already a small hint in terms of why we're seeing weird things. I mean, I'm not bad at it or underqualified. It's just that I specialize in other science work. The paycheck for this project was too good to turn down, though. Compared to what I've worked on before, this project is nothing. I've been through things that other people wouldn't believe. It kept me awake at night, terrified of thinking how bad things could have turned out. But it didn't. And the result? The result brought me and the revival company a fortune. It's genuinely horrifying what this company is capable of. Maybe people should finally know. Okay, whatever that voodoo bull crap is. We can open this room here. It's like a maintenance thing. We can keep going back here, though. More generator stuff. No fuses, though. Let me open this. Oh, my God. Stop laughing. I swear to goodness. Can we go through here? Why'd I get quarantined if I can't go through? Uh, well, thanks for nothing, I guess. All right, we move to this... The heck? Dang, okay, well, we're on the second floor right now. Trying to find the last of the fuses or something like that. Two more to go. Let's check around here. All right, this one opens up. This must be the office space right here, then. Uh, hello? Wait, what was that? Okay, I'm gonna have to play that back. I think I just saw something right there, but I don't know. Actually starting to feel legitimate tension from this stuff. This is pretty good. <gasps> Who are you? Are you real? God. Oh boy. Mustn't be real. At least I hope so. We're having more and more flashbacks though, the more we go this way, particularly. But the question is why? What is wrong? Uh, okay, yeah, someone's having too much fun. Can we pull that? Oh dear, someone either had fun or a tough time in here. What a joke. <laughs> yeah, I reckon someone just like frisbeed that thing, man. Aha, fuse number four. Okay, look, demons. I'm gonna get this, but please don't. I'm gonna run this way here. I don't know where else the monster could. That way that I saw him, okay. Oh boy, oh boy, run around there. We gotta find some- are you, Wait, how are you supposed to escape this? Like this? Um, holy crap. So it really can find you as time goes on? Oh, he is right behind me. Literally right behind me. Come on, come on. The straight line, we should be good, I think. Come on, do something, please. Thank you. How can I avoid it? Look, guys, we got demons in this facility. Like, no wonder my train of thought's a bit jacked up right now. Okay, let's do this. Let's go straight up these stairs. Holy crap. Let me see. What we got here? Sanitary equipment. Again, that was locked. That was locked too. A lot of these doors just seem to be sealed up. Wait, is that... Dude, my... Are you kidding me right now? Guys, look at my eyes. I'm literally freaked out so much by this game. This is freaking me so much. Let's go slow. I was hoping it would have disappeared by now. What the freak? What even was that? Hand puppet, janked up, thumb face looking thing. Carrie Lana, it's actually what you look like? Oh my god. Come on, dude. Why am I getting so freaked out by this game? It has changed up a lot, and I'm really digging this for some reason. Just the whole concept. All right, now, fuse number five. Is that over there? I think it might be. It's not, but it is down there. Okay. Flashlight. Wait, what is this? Um... Oh crap, my flashlight ain't working either. What are we What are we looking at here? What is this supposed to be? The experiments that we did at the revival company? So, maybe to see these like demon things, we were trying to revive the dead or something? Nothing around us. Oh my god, I'm set! Okay, hold out. I can't use the flashlight. Don't you, if you're in my face, I'm gonna punch. Okay, he heard me, thank goodness. All right, I'm gonna take the fuse. Okay, we can flick, we can't go up there. We gotta find where it is. Got it, okay, it's right there. So if we go this way in a route. Whoa, he's really quick. Oh my god, he's real fast. He's right behind us. The corners. Take him shot, take him shot. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, no dead ends, please. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Maybe we'll be good. Come on, take over right now. And come on. 
do it. You know what to do? We're still good. Heck yes. Oof. Now that was pretty intense to say the least, but I'm glad we got it done. So back over to the power generator, put these guys in, and then we're all good. Thankfully. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I mean, it says good, but I'm keeping those things in my back pocket, clearly. I ain't gonna complain. Kate. Hey, I'm in the lab. I see the power's back on. Did you fix the generator? Yeah, but this is odd. What's odd? The fuses were just scrambled all over the place. I had to go find them and put them back. Kate. Okay, that's weird. We should get out of here. I'll wait for you at the entrance lobby in the lab. All right, I'll be there shortly. A lobby entrance in the lab that was back in the south. Kate? Kate! I remember this last time. We don't see her, I don't think. Or do we? This is the lobby entrance. Look around. She's actually laying on the floor there, you see? Okay, let's go and observe. Yo, Kate, you fall asleep? You face plant? What happened? No blood, but... Kate, are you alright? Silence. Kate, I don't know why we're talking into the walkie-talkie when she's right in front of us. Kate! Oh no. I've got to warn the others. What others? I didn't see anyone. Alright, and then we wake up at 7am. Waking up in the morning, gotta see. Look around. You survived your first night. Good job, man. That's all I can say, really. You slept through it and beat the demons. Just gonna keep doing that now, I think, for another six nights total. All right then, guys, I think I'm gonna leave this first episode here because I'm really liking the direction of this game, and I don't wanna rush it for just one single video because that's what will end up happening with the second night. I really wanna enjoy this. It seems like a decent indie game, one of which we haven't had in a while. Nice little concepts. It's good to see this type of game actually being refined to the point where it's very playable and also very enjoyable. Like, the sequences where we had to flee, they were very random, but also enjoyable because, like, once I got in the flow after the first one, I got what I had to do. It feels a lot more ominous as well. Like, as we were clicking in the fuses, it didn't just feel like a sandbox map where you just roam around and look at stuff. There were events happening throughout, and it's just interesting to see happen. But yeah, I'm actually excited to see what happens in the next night, and I mean, if you guys enjoyed this thing, we'll bring that night super soon. For this one though, guys, this is what we're gonna leave it here, and I hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like rating, and hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I of course hope you did enjoy, and I will of course see you on the next one.